Hi everyone, welcome back. So in the previous lesson, we discussed about the introduction of Mundell Fleming model. That is, we discussed what is the difference between Mundell Fleming model and the ISLM curve. And we said that Mundell Fleming model is the extension of the ISLM curve in the open economy. And we in the open economy, which means that we are considering the rest of the world. And second assumption we took was of perfect capital mobility. Perfect capital mobility means that if the domestic interest rate is greater than foreign interest rate, then there will be a capital inflow till the time both the interest rates does not become equal. And if the domestic interest rate is less than foreign interest rate, then there will be capital outflow till the time both the rates do not become equal. Now, in this market, we are going to understand the Mundell Fleming model. First, we are going to derive the open economy IS curve. Then we will derive the open economy LM curve and then simultaneous equilibrium. So, let us first, yeah, let us first discuss the goods market. and the IS curve, open economy IS curve. Open economy IS curve ko hum aise IS star karke denote karte hain. Okay. So here we have discussed that the, uh, the equation in the goods market is Y, that is we derive uh, output in the goods market. This is equal to consumption plus investment and this investment is dependent upon R star, where R star refers to the open economy interest rate plus government expenditure plus net exports, where then this net exports is dependent upon the exchange rate. That is, we are taking small e. Now, I will also write this R star refers to world interest rate. And E refers to nominal exchange rate thus we say here humne aapne third semester mein is curve ka two part vertical diagram kiya hoga theek hai ab humko three part diagram karna hai so we will start from this left hand side corner first we will draw that how exchange rate affects the net exports so here we are taking, this is our first schedule. Yaha pe hum x axis pe le rahe hai, net exports, y axis pe le rahe hai, nominal exchange rate. And this is our first schedule. It will be termed as net exports schedule. Here we know, that whenever exchange rate increases, exchange rate increase होने का मतलब है कि हमारी currency appreciate कर रही है. तो अगर हमारी currency appreciate कर रही है, इसका मतलब हमारे goods के prices world market में ज्यादा है. और ज्यादा है तो फिर उतना demand नहीं होगा और उतना demand नहीं होगा तो exports reduce करेंगे. So we say that whenever exchange rate increases, net exports reduces which means that there is an inverse relationship between the exports and between the uh, net exports and exchange rate. Suppose that currently our exchange rate is E1 and at this nominal exchange rate, our net exports is NX1. Okay, this is our first schedule explaining the relationship between net exports and exchange rate. Let us draw second schedule that we will draw in this case here. Ye hamara goods market equilibrium hum draw kar rahe hai pe. So on x axis we take output or income and on y axis we take expenditure. So this is, aapne third semester mein kiya hoga, this is Keynesian cross. So here we take that this is our 45 degree line explaining that this is our actual expenditure. Okay. 
इसको हम ए ई भी लिखते हैं ओके एंड दिस लाइन शोज जो हमारा एक्चुअली एग्रीगेट डिमांड होता है सो so, जहां पे ये इंटरसेक्ट करते हैं इसको किनिजियन क्रॉस बोला जाता है एंड दिस रिप्रेजेंट वाई वन ओके ना ये जो हमने फर्स्ट ए डी वन ड्रॉ किया है दिस ए डी वन इज ड्रॉन टेकिंग इन टू अकाउंट नॉमिनल एक्सचेंज रेट वन ठीक है सो एग्रीगेट का हमारा हमने इक्वेशन लिखी थी प्रीवियस लेसन में सी प्लस आई प्लस जी प्लस एन एक्स ये एन एक्स हमारा ई वन पे जो आया है जो हमने यहाँ पे डिराइव किया है ई वन नॉमिनल एक्सचेंज रेट वन पे जो हमारा नेट एक्सपोर्ट्स आया है उसकी हेल्प से हमने ये एग्रीगेट डिमांड डिराइव किया है और प्लॉट किया है ओके नाउ वी विल डिराइव दी आई एस कर्व सो दिस इज आवर थर्ड डायग्राम हेयर सो ऑन एक्स एक्सिस वी टेक आउटपुट और इनकम एंड ऑन वाई एक्सिस वी टेक नॉमिनल एक्सचेंज रेट नाउ फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन सी दैट दिस इज आवर नॉमिनल एक्सचेंज रेट एंड फ्रॉम अब वी कैन प्लॉट ये जो हमने वाई वन डिराइव किया है ना यहां से हम प्लॉट कर सकते हैं दैट दिस इज आवर वाई वन सो दिस गिवस अस दर्स्ट इक्विलिब्रियम ओके नाउ सपोज that exchange rate increases so when the exchange rate increases from e1 to e2 as a result of that the net exports will reduce because there is an inverse relationship okay from e1 we will go to e2 what will happen in the second schedule now because so ad2 will be C plus I plus G plus N X two at E two because the exchange rate has increased, net exports have reduced. When this net export has reduced, there will be a downward shift in this aggregate demand curve. So this will be A D two, and this will be our new equilibrium. This was E one. This was E two. Uh, so. From here, when we plot this y two, and from here we take e two, we get new equilibrium that is capital E two. When we join all such points, we get a downward sloping open economy I S curve. So this is our third schedule that is I S curve graph. okay this is i'll just open this page yeah this as you can see here this shows our entire open economy is curve i hope now you will be able to plot open economy is curve so we can write the open economy is curve that yes it is a downward sloping curve i'll write it down for you so we say that the Open economy IS curve slopes downward because a higher exchange rate reduces net exports, which actually lowers the aggregate income. okay with this we have completed the derivation of the open economy is curve that is goods market next we will discuss money market and open economy lm curve to so, jo ye open economy lm curve hai isko bhi hum lm star se denote karte hain theek hai humne ek equation study ki thi third semester mein that is M by P that is real money supply is dependent upon R and Y. We can say that here this is money supply and this is equal to money demand. Remember money demand की एक equation की थी. Money demand is equal to K Y minus H I. 
तो यहाँ पे हमने वही चीज ली है कि हमारा ये इंटरेस्ट रेट पे डिपेंड करता है मनी डिमांड जो आर स्टार लगाएंगे यहाँ पे क्योंकि अब हमने ये बोला है जो हमारा डोमेस्टिक इंटरेस्ट रेट है वो वर्ल्ड इंटरेस्ट रेट के थ्रू डिटर्मिन होता है नाउ लेट एस डिराइव दी ओपन इकोनॉमी एल एम कर्व सो हेयर अगेन दिस विल बी अ टू पार्ट डायग्राम सो इन दर्स्ट पार्ट we take income or output on x axis and interest rate on the y axis and in the second part we take we take income and output and interest uh, sorry uh, exchange rate since we are taking the international economy open economy so this is exchange rate here we know that the interest rate will be determined by the open economy and it will be constant in a given time period also we know that lm curve is a positive sloping curve that is it means that there is a positive relationship between interest rate and income jo hamara closed economy mein hota hai and this m by p is equal to l l stands for liquidity a function which is dependent upon interest rate and income or output so with this we have derived that at this current interest rate this is our income and when we plot this so here we can say that arbitrarily suppose this is our exchange rate that is functioning in the economy right now and this is y1 so with this we get a vertical lm curve in the open economy because here interest rate is given and it is determined by the world interest rate now we have derived both the open economy is curve and the open economy lm curve the last part that is left is now we will combine these two curves and we will derive the simultaneous equilibrium in goods market and money market so that we can derive equilibrium exchange rate and equilibrium output or income let us do that so now we say thus according to mundel fleming model a small open economy because in mundel fleming model we take open economy with the assumption that we took perfect capital mobility so we can derive this using two is, uh, equations this can be described using two equations first open economy is curve that is y equal to c dependent on y minus t that is disposable income plus investment dependent upon open economy interest rate plus government expenditure plus net exports that is dependent upon the exchange rate and the second is associated with money market that is open economy lm curve which is that real money supply is equal to money demand that is dependent upon open economy interest rate and income or output let us now uh, do this simultaneous equilibrium diagrammatically so here since this is mundel fleming model describing an open economy so on the x axis we take output or income and on y axis we take exchange rate since we have derived that lm curve will be vertical open economy lm curve will be vertical and open economy is curve will be downward sloping so using this intersection point we get this equilibrium and equilibrium exchange rate is at e1 and equilibrium output or income is at y1 so we say that both these curves are drawn with constant interest rate and thus we say that this intersection jahan pe hamara e aaya hai the intersection of these two curves
shows us the level of income and exchange rate that satisfy equilibrium both in goods market and money market. Okay, so with this lesson, we have understood, I'm sorry, with this lesson, we have discussed <clears throat> the model flaming model that is open economy IS curve, open economy LM curve, and then we discuss the simultaneous equilibrium. Okay, I hope all these things are clear to you. In the next lesson, we will discuss about the uh, flexible exchange rate. What do we mean by flexible exchange rate and what is the impact of fiscal policy and monetary, monetary policy, which is more effective in the case of flexible exchange rate, taking into account Moodle Fleming model. All the best for your preparation, everyone. Please take care.